guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to do a video about Nightmare City. <laughs> Nightmare City. <laughs> Excuse me. Nightmare City is a zombie film from 1980 by Umberto Lenzi. Um, he seemed to do a lot of kind of underground, weird Italian horror movies. I think he did, was it Cannibal Ferox? I remember buying that when I worked at GameStop from someone for like a dollar. And I brought it home and they were like killing turtles and stuff. And I was like, yeah, this is real. It kind of bothers me. <laughs> and uh, I didn't really like that movie. But he did do a couple other ones that I've seen that I think are pretty fun. Um, great artwork. Very kind of rental store goofiness, but like definitely has some style to it. So, as I said, it's a 1980 film from Italy. It's in Italian or English, this version, depending on which one you want to watch under the setup menu. And it's about this um, airplane that comes in contact with a nuclear explosion and um, or some kind of disaster, some spill, whatever. And the passengers all turn into zombies. And at the beginning of the film, the plane lands and... The main character, who's played by Hugo Stiglitz, you may know that name from Quentin Tarantino's um, Inglorious Bastards, that's one of the names, but he took it from this because he was a fan of this film, I think. Hugo Stiglitz is the actor's name, and um, he is a reporter and a journalist, and he goes to the plane to catch the people coming off the plane and interview them, and they're all zombies, unbeknownst to him. And they look sort of like... People with mud on their faces, like there's definitely a little bit of, as you can see here, and they just come out of the plane with guns and knives, and they, it, that's the funny part. They're not like eating brains and, you know, slowly, gingerly walking. They're like running after people with guns. So it's, it's kind of a different take on things. Uh, throughout the film, it's fairly intense. It's pretty much like a lot of chase sequences. Uh, Hugo Stiglitz's character and his wife getting chased by zombies. And it gets a little, I don't want to say mundane, but it's definitely samey throughout the film. Like, it's not like a lot of plot points. But it's interesting. I think it has a little bit of a, of a griminess to it, but it's also got a goofiness to it, which is fun. The end of the movie, I'm not going to spoil it, the end of the movie is like, whoa. And then something else happens at the end, and you're like... They didn't have to do that, in my opinion. Some people think it was like a great ending. I didn't see the point of it. My friend John and I were talking because I sent him a copy of this on YouTube that I found. I said, you should watch this. You'll probably like it. And he said he liked it, but he also felt like the ending kind of ruined things a little. I sort of feel the same way. Some people think it's a, it's a phenomenal ending. It's very intelligent. I don't think so. I think they were padding out the runtime another five minutes and they decided to do this little ending scene. Um, which doesn't really change anything, so I didn't kind of get the point of it. But there is some intense stuff near the end and crazy shit happening. Um, it's a nice little package here by Raro Video. It has subtitles, it has audio in both Italian and English. Um, I've never purchased anything from Raro Video before. There's a booklet in here with like pictures and little um, information. I got this on Facebook from someone for I think like $7 plus shipping, so it came to like 10 bucks and change with tax and everything. Um, it goes for around 15 or so, and then there's an Arrow Video UK version, which is region free, and that one is like in the 20s or 30s, but the transfer is a little better than this one. So if you want it to really look like very crystal clear, maybe go for the Arrow Video version. If you like really goofy zombie movies, like Zombie or Flesh Eater, um, uh, City of the Living Dead, you know, stuff like that, which, by the way, I constantly, constantly confuse this movie with. So I'd see this cover, and I'd go, yeah, I've seen that movie. But I really saw City of the Living Dead. And that kept happening to me back and forth for years, but I recently ordered both. So anyway, pretty fun, cheesy, schlocky, kind of grimy zombie movie. If you like all that stuff and it sounds interesting to you, I'd recommend it. You just have to know what you're getting into. And know the ending isn't so great. Let me know, guys, if you've seen Umberto Lenzi's Nightmare City. Sorry for my son yelling there at the beginning, even though it was kind of funny. That's why I'm going to leave it in. 
So let me know if you've seen it, or let me know what your favorite zombie movies are. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.